Hello, Aaron. Hi, Dan. Nice jacket. Wow, you really are taller than me. No, I'm just standing on a ladder. I've been standing on a ladder this whole time. This is how big I am. <laughs> Jackets. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Growing My Grandpa. Hey, man. Thank you. I should be welcoming you. I'm the one who downloaded it. Yeah, what the hell is this? Uh, let's find out. Okay. <laughs> Start. Would you like to view the tutorial? We're got <sighs> Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Yes, this yeah, game's okay. really weird. So. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was gonna say. It's designed to be played with a mouse, uh, clicking the mouse. But this is—it's called growing my grandpa. It you can probably guess, like, what's the deal with that? Like, are we talking like petri dish growth? I think a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my god, that mute symbol is so annoying. You guys can't see it, but I can. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. There's a little speaker with a line through it. It, that's like blinking endlessly on our TV. Driving at, and it's driving him mad! I'm gonna kill someone! <laughs> Probably this logo right here that you can't see. Oh, the second cursor mode is indicated by the cursor's image featuring a hand extending all fingers. Okay. Ooh. This mode concerns interaction with objects inside the world, mainly picking up an object, moving it, okay. Okay. To continue, please pick up the piece of trash. Okay. Well, you need the secondary, uh, ah. there you go. Ha, ha, ha. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Pick you. up, Aaron. <laughs> You're coming with me, Trash. Yeah, hello. You. Hi. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Into the trash. That's it. <laughs> there will be many situations of growing. My grandpa. I like that the exclamation point is part of the title. I like it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> There will be many situations in growing my grandpa. Well, I should hope so. Yeah. That will require you- oh, I see. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, I get it, yes. Okay. That will require you to pick things up, place things, grab things, or give things. Don't be afraid to experiment. Keep an open mind about using your hand. Okay. <laughs> you! <laughs> All right. All right. In order to expedite the cleaning process, you can use digits one, two, and three on your keyboard row. You know, if I- if you went up to me and said, Hey, Dan. Don't be afraid to experiment. Or, or be afraid of using your hand or whatever that was. Yeah. I'd be like, I'd like you to leave my house, please. How'd you get in here? Aaron, stop moving the trash can I'm around. I'm sorry. Just play the game. Uh, <laughs> click the continue button. Alright. Variety of video options can be changed anytime. Just the shader. Yeah, yeah, I already did that. God, tutorials make you so uncomfortable. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I can see your feet kicking around. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why do I have to read all this shit? Like growing my grandpa's display is scaled up by a factor of two. I don't like two. I, I don't hate tutorials. I hate very visible, frustrating, slow tutorials. Okay. Hovering Which is over all of th them. No, well, it's a lot of them. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. people are lazy. Didn't you ever see my video? Hovering over the small question mark on the top right provides an overlay related to available configuration options. Yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Ha. <laughs> You! <laughs> okay, okay. Right. Try hovering over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. Thus ends the tutorial. I hope you enjoy growing my grandpa. It's my grandpa. Yeah. Infinite thanks to my patrons and supporters. Boy, that Yings. was a, a, an agonizingly long tutorial. That's okay. Three screens of... Mm, <laughs> two sentences. How am I growing my grandpa if I'm already born? I don't know. Let's see. I excused Adrian during music class today and spoke with her about her recent string of. All right, she was of Sorry, course intense. Was, was yeah, can mistake. you go back to that? I don't. That's I'm not kind sure. Kind of critical plot. Sorry. All right, she was of course intensely shy when we first met. As I understand it, she's similarly withdrawn in her classroom activities and only speaks or acts when she absolutely must. Some things she simply will not do. Instead of participating in mandatory group activities, she will sit alone and accept that she will receive a demerit. Oh. Before the meeting, I read Miss Richardson's parent-teacher report, which allowed me to estimate about some of Adrian's home life. Oh. The parents are well-educated and come from a prestigious background, but they lack the time to properly nurture Adrian. Uh -oh. oh my god, that mute thing is driving me crazy, too. Yeah. I can't read straight. Uh, she is often alone, and when she is not, the parents seem to not understand the importance of warmth and affirmation when dealing with someone so young. Word. 
Having two parents of this reserved and icy temperament exacts an inhibition in a child. Yeah. The child's imagination is subdued, but only ostensibly, for it eventually finds its way into regular life. Yep. I surmised that I would be able to reach out to Adrian by way of make-believe. Okay. Oh, oh. God, I hate this already. Okay, I guess you are the... You're this guy. How are you liking your new house? You've told me you used to live close by, but it can still be a big adjustment. A new room, a new school. Shut up. The, the basement. I like that. The basement? Yes. Open your fucking ears, dude. <sighs> yeah, well, there's a lot of cool stuff. Mom and Dad sent me down there. Your mom and dad made you go? Yeah, but there's a lot of cool stuff. Like I said. <laughs> well, that's not why they sent me down there, though. Why did they send you down there? F fighting. They were fighting, shouting. I came in to help and th they shouted at me. They said, go clean up downstairs. So I went. That sounds tough. Do they fight a lot? No. Well, they, uh... It's all right, Adrian. Maybe you can tell me more about the basement instead. That seems like a fun line of conversation. Yeah. It's it's awesome, like I said. <laughs> it's like roller coasters. Okay, well, it was weird at first, the stuff down there, but cool, I found something living, sort of. That's very interesting, Adrian. Please tell me more. Did you grow your grandpa? <laughs> By indulging her in her fantasies and stories, I was able to glean more of an understanding of Adrian's anxiety surrounding her home and parents. The symbols of Adrian's story seem to carry their own traumatic weight, and her exploration of the basement may very well be a vehicle for the conveyance of her anxiety. Ah. That was a lot of words. Whatever might come of our next meeting, whether she will engage in similar make-believe, I will set down her story here. Okay. Adrian's story begins with her delving into the basement with a trash receptacle and the goal of cleaning up. I'm going to the basement to clean up! She discovered one of the wall- one of the walls was covered in plastic bags. Weird. She went to investigate, intent on tearing away whatever they covered. What's gonna be behind here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so I'm playing as Adrian? Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> no. Maybe you have to get closer. Oh, can I do that? How do I do that? The game didn't teach me how to get closer. There we go. Oh, oh. Why the slimies? Trash, 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 trash. Upon removing the plastic trash bags from the wall, she noticed their interior lining was covered in glass. Neat! Like a window, I offered. No, she said, like a mirror. Like a mirror! <laughs> Reflecting inward, thank you. Reflecting <laughs> inward towards the animal they covered. Oh. Wait, what? I gently asked her what exactly this animal was. Here is where the material, really, uh, reality of the story took a turn for the, sorry, <laughs> okay. <I'm> drunk, <laughs> took a turn for the explicitly fantastic and imaginary. Whoa! My grandpa! <laughs> Upon her discovery of it, at her gaze, it grew, or extended, its shaggy-haired self. Hair like the fur of a dog, I offered. No, she said. Hair like the fur of a stoner. <laughs> Not the fur of a dog, nor the hair on her head, nor on the hair of her chinny chin chin. <laughs> it grew out towards her, the animal's hair, reaching out. Oh. It was hard, standing almost straight, like the hair on a brush. A bristle, I offered. Yes, she said. So not hair, more like bristles. She was very afraid at first, but then very curious. Or spikes? Spines? I asked her what else was in the room. More things hidden away, she said. Things of grandpa's as well. Who's grandpa, I asked. I'm growing him, she said. First, she found a hidden passage under the stairs. Inside were strange dolls, magic objects, naked, faceless figures. Um, I'm sorry, what? What was that last one? I heard these cryptic utterances and merely nodded. In order to keep the game of make-believe going, I only pressed for details where I thought necessary. <laughs> And then I quietly called the police. <laughs> the faceless dolls could be a simple metaphor for the anonymity she feels in her own home. Okay, Mr. Freud. Yeah, I know. Just fucking... Are you qualified to do this? <laughs> I'm a second grade math teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the hidden passage. I am unsure of what to make of that. Maybe the door to the basement represents her repressed mem... It's just a basement. <laughs> I teach gym. <laughs> the revealing of the <laughs> concealed... The revealing of the concealed seems to be thematic in her fantasy. The door under the stairs is but one example. How do you know it's a fantasy? Yeah, I mean... Ow, 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 ow. You! 
<laughs> ow, 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 ow. Bristles. Okay. Okay, so I don't have to look at that anymore. What do we got here? We got some silly shit going on. This is a cool basement. Ooh, a trash pile. Ooh. I can't grab anything. You can't grab that sparkly thing? Sparkly thing. Uh, oh, like this? Nah. Really? Yeah. I think they want me to examine the door. Ah. Seems pretty cool. <laughs> what is in the trash? Once she removed the panel and found the magical hidden passage, she was Whoops. Aaron. Sorry, my fingers <laughs> like easy. heavy for some reason. <laughs> she found a magic book, a magic doll, a photo of her late grandpa, a magic grandpa, and magic glue. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, why isn't the photo magic? Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Take doll. Uh, why don't I just take it? Like, I have the- uh, whatever. Ah! Ah! A slouching doll. Its material is rough and coarse. And of it gets course. everywhere. <laughs> uh, search closet. Trash. Trash. This is Trash. the part that makes you feel like this is a game. Trash. Trash. Oh, oh hello. Uh, something revealed itself. Eurasian steppy shamanism and fusiform gyrus, an interdisciplinary study in sympathetic magic. A dissertation, Jacob Hart. Boy, that just rolls off the tongue. Oh, should I have read it now? Glue. Oh, hello. Glue. Glue. <laughs> All purpose, no less. So if I use it on smooth plastics, it'll work? I don't think so. <laughs> Better luck next time. I think it's a misnomer. Ass hat. Fucking upsetting. They would lie to me like that. Ah! ah. <laughs> hey! A photo of your late grandfather, who was apparently 35. Mm, PhD! <laughs> Does it say MN Rad? Oh, uh, no, Mr. PhD. Oh, okay. On the reverse side of the photograph, there is more text. Good luck on your trip to the Urals. Stay warm. The Urals? I th believe that's when you have some sort of bladder infection. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, don't you pass those? <laughs> ah, All my right. Urals. All, All clean. clean. Why would this space be dirty again next week? This space will not be dirty again until next week. That's what I mean. Dust, I don't know. Oh, Spiders, okay. rats pooping. I interrupted to ask what she did with these magical, mysterious materials. I ate them. <laughs> Chicken out of Martin! <laughs> oh boy. Grow grandpa, she explained plainly. And then without missing a beat, she continued on with her story. So here's how I did it. No, oh, God. Feeling this was a potent symbol, I stopped her again to ask what she meant. Somewhat puzzled, I did not understand immediately. She explained slowly. Okay, check it out. <laughs> okay, dumbass. Grandpa lives in the cage in the other room. Ah. The cage behind the door. Sure. They grew people in the cage. Yeah. Uh, well, time to look at the, the cage behind the door. That doesn't sound like symbolism at all. Cage oh, there's the door. 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 Um, grab. Um, door. A hastily written note. I'll read it. Grandpa in door. There you go. I, I have repeatedly called your homes to no avail, and so I am forced to leave this here for you all. <laughs> Remember to turn off the toy- uh, <laughs> I found William sitting in the corner of the enclosure area, seemingly se se seeming severely concussed. Whiskers was gone. His face was bald. In none of its usual hiding places, I immediately suspected the worst. He had eaten some of the mac and cheese I left out. The project thus must be suspended for now. I am leaving up the usual mirrored coverings we use to keep the anthropoidic void sealed. You know what I'm talking about. I would not have put this in a hastily written note. <laughs> I've done my best to lock up everything on such short notice. It is a hasty fix, but I will require some time to find a more permanent remedy. Also, here is a diagram of all of the things I'm talking about, very meticulously drawn out in this hastily made note. I need a remedy, remedy, remedy. Hey, little thing, let me grow your grandpa now. <laughs> and a petri dish. <laughs> I am honestly, I'm honestly hoping you do not find this note as I intend to lock the house down too. Okay. If you're hoping they don't find the note, the easiest way to do that would be to not write the note. <laughs> I know. I don't think about that. 
I intend to race off to you to retrieve your lockbox keys. Do not worry about William's key. And it and the rest of this equipment is almost certainly deep within whiskers now. Wait. Whiskers. Who and what is whiskers and why can things go deep within it? I'm assuming it's a cat. Yeah, but why why would the equipment Fuck. Aaron? Sorry. My Jesus, finger is like really man. heavy. <laughs> I pray you do not enter this room. No matter how it may appear, William cannot be helped, and it is only being kept alive as a means of continuing predation on the rest of us. I, I'm kind of lost. There's growing grandpa. Okay. I will say once again, no matter what state you may encounter William in, he cannot be helped. I have sympathy for the young man, I truly do. But I found on his person several photos of his late sister, which would imply certain risks he knew he was taking. Our ex extant... Research? Extant. Extant? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Let's find out. Our extant research materials, our excellent research materials, have now become possible liabilities, either criminal or professional in nature, so I have stashed them away. Extant. Still in existence. Surviving. Okay, why don't they just say that? I believe I let you all know how I might do this if we were ever to experience an event such as this. I hope you all remember what I told you. So long, then. Dr. H. For Dr. Hell yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Oh, man. Um, Dr. Hell yeah? <laughs> yes. For the sake of university, pull it. The health of any future career. Hope to have you will abide by disclosure contract you have signed. Don't break the anthropoidic vacuum. Okay. Uh, any anthropoidic forms brought into the enclosure area. Must not be left unattended. <laughs> okay, non-disclosure agreement. That's rarely good. When not in dormancy, the sample will attempt to take it for shells. Please see shell notes. Shell, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna see the shell notes. I'm gonna read the shell notes real quick. All right. The sample's exposure to some of our neuronal activity is unavoidable. However, the speed at which it's dis is this all part of the hastily made note? Yeah, I know. I I know. Do you think? Do you think if we went to a really like the the world's smartest fast food restaurant, it would be Neuronald McDonald's. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Yield is produced, can be damaged, desirous, whatever. If you begin to suspect, not whatever. This is the plot. Keep conversation not related to lab work to a minimum. All right. Okay, R R Sarah can be dampened by several precautions regarding libidinal and emotional urges. Okay. Okay, so if you. If you think about shit, it'll know. If you begin to suspect you're developing attachments to your colleagues, contact me. Oh. All right. Uh, and who wouldn't fall in love in a romantic environment such as this? <laughs> yeah. Ritual behavior with the sample, trading, bargaining, will result in dismissal from the project. What? Oh, because you can talk to it. Right. The precise mechanism of the exchange of symbols and gifts required for a requested desirous yield is not known, and even then the anecdotal accounts of success are illegible and in violent death. Okay. I feel like that should be legible. Have you ever taken a sample into a doctor's office and he's like, I'd like more of a desirous yield, please. <laughs> Could you please scoop your shit out of the toilet again? <laughs> Thank you. Regarding growth cycles, every time Whiskers regenerates and leaves dormancy, it is it is to be logged as a new pr Oh, Whiskers is the grandpa. Oh dear. I think. The sample's bodily existence cannot be illegible, i.e. a part cannot be cut from the whole, so there can only be one living propagation. Propagations are to be terminated after five weeks! Okay. Any further development puts it at risk. Termination procedures will be posted and followed with extreme care. With all that out of the puts way, us at risk. Have fun. It doesn't matter if it puts it at risk. <laughs> oh. It's termination. <laughs> oh right. Beyond the door, in the room, the cage was hidden, concealed in another cloak of inward-facing mirrors. We. A hidden cage lined with mirrors, death blooms. It is strange, almost poetic, the elaborate fantasy of self-reflection, concealment, captivity. <laughs> Tarp. Oh, okay, this dope. is gonna be weird. Let's grab some shit real quick. Is there any more shit to grab? This is gonna oh, be this one up here. strange. At the cage, she finally cast her spell. But it was confusing. She confided at first. She took the magic doll, the magic glue, and the photo of her grandpa. And she combined them, and she wished very hard. 
I can only assume in this fantasy that next your wish would come true. In what child's story would it not? Yes, her magical dream came true of gluing together her hideously deformed grandpa. Okie doke. Let's glue them together. There you go. Hey, all right. A tangible symbol of intention and desire. It looks just like him. Now we're talking. She put Grandpa in the cage. Nobody puts Grandpa in the cage. <laughs> Assuming that was part of the ritual. I mean, the fact that she put it in the cage means that it could probably get out of the cage just as easily. What's next, baby in the corner? What precise instructions she could glean from her grandfather's magic book was complicated by her reading comprehension. She's two. She wished with all her heart, and then she told me she waited a while for something, anything to happen. And after that time, she began to cry. Do you think the parents are like, she's been down there a while? <laughs> Do you think she's growing her grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> I cried really hard, she said. I cried really hard, she said. I wanted, I wanted grandpa to be back. I wanted my parents to stop being so mean. And it hurt me. Oh, boy. It hurt me wish for grandpa to come back for my parents to be different. I could feel it through the walls, and it felt me through the air. I asked her what exactly she meant. She could only repeat what she said. By this time, lunch was almost over. I said goodbye to Adrian, and she left to rejoin her class. I enjoyed a terrifying bologna sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I was left to consider our conversation. I believe the storytelling strategy I have employed was not unfruitful, but I must probe deeper if I can. Whoa. Yeah, can with phrasing. Yeah. Although I can be sure of nothing I interpret, the impressions I get may be begin to help me get an idea of the right questions to ask. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. And you're or, crazy. Or what is the point of any of this? <laughs> Knowledge you acquired this week has given you access to certain topics or keywords you can discuss with Grandpa. Aw, oh, sick. Wish. <laughs> Consider discussing this when Grandpa emerges. <laughs> hey, what do you want to talk about today? Yeah, it just, like, comes out scratching himself. Wish. Is Matlock on? <laughs> Grandpa, I want to talk about Wish. All right. I wish I was watching Matlock. <laughs> Shell. Mm. Awesome. Or S Hell. Mm. Wow. For those of you who don't like the letter S and are forced <laughs> to use it constantly. Are you sure this isn't Grand Theft Auto V? Oh, yeah, we're... I confuse this with high-octane action games. Mm -hmm. I met again with Adrian in order to address her emotional outbursts in the past few weeks. It is our second time meeting, and while it is standard practice to have multiple sessions with a troubled student, as I assemble a report for the counseling department, I could not help but think, as we sat down in my office, that Adrian already seemed to show a remarkable change in self-esteem and confidence, and perhaps my and Mrs. Richardson's estimation of her as emotionally disturbed was erroneous. Oh, I wouldn't guess that, teacher. <laughs> the paralyzing shyness and withdrawn attitude Adrian possessed last week was not entirely diminished, oh. but she seemed to hold herself different. Aaron, I'm sorry. Aaron, I'm sorry. Just take your hand off the fucking I, I, thing. I, I know. Oh my god. <laughs> Driving me batty over here. When, when I began once again to ask about her parents, her feelings regarding the new school and her new home, she quickly lost what new confidence she had gathered up and withdrew again into herself. Ah. Oh, God. So once again, I partook in some collaborative make-believe, but this time I was aided by the fact that I had managed to do some research into Adrian's grandfather, oh. and I had some insight into what she might actually be finding in the basement. He had a sick Burt Reynolds-style mustache. He loved Matlock. <laughs> now, this may be overstepping my bounds as some as a school counseling caseworker, but this was all in the service of making Adrian comfortable and happy in this learning environment. Are you comfortable and happy talking about your grandpa in a petri dish and doing weird spells in your basement as yeah. your parents argue upstairs? Judging by her face, she seemed thrilled. <laughs> in any case, I was able to dig up information regarding the grandfather by inquiring at the university in town. Not that I make it a habit of sleuthing. Oh, God, this guy's so, <laughs> like, pretentious in the way he speaks. <laughs> Not that I make it a I feel like he's constantly taking his glasses off slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I make it a <laughs> habit of sleuthing. sleuthing. But I had a suspicion that the grandfather was a professor there, or at least some sort of researcher. Okay. Due to the fact that the newly constructed laboratory on the campus I drive by every day bears his name in memorial. Okay, okay that... W <laughs> I know. Why'd you have to go down this winding path to just be like, he obviously worked there, there's a wing named after him. That's it. He was some sort of anthropologist, or linguist, or neuroscientist. I did not have to dig that deep before the scope of his work became dizzying, and I ran up against the limits of my undergraduate education. But back to the make-believe. 
Oh, God. <laughs> What's your grandpa like? Is he a smart man? Not anymore. He's dead. Oh, but I'm teaching but him. But I'm teaching him. Ugh. So he's grown a good deal then. You have been feeding him well? Cheerios! Every day, just Cheerios. Yeah, he's getting, but you know, it's like the kind of Cheerios when you like have like a Ziploc bag of Cheerios. Yeah, and they're, <laughs> they're a little stale. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you like put them in your hand and they get kind of gross and stick to your fingers. Do you eat them like that? That was kind of Cheerios. Yeah, he's getting bigger. <laughs> anyway, that's what my grandpa's like. <laughs> but he has a lot of room in his cage. Are you going to eat this apple? <laughs> he's still behind the bars? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're way far behind at this point. <laughs> Yeah, well, he might be able to climb out eventually. There's this vent in the ceiling, and also the bars are, like, way far apart to compare to how big his body is. Well, perhaps if he climbs out, I could meet him someday. You're going to regret saying that, dude. <laughs> what is this, Tinder? <laughs> yeah, maybe, but he's not ready to leave. He, he, he can't take care of himself. I have to feed him, pick up after him. Help him start up his Bumble account? <laughs> <laughs> Turn on Matlock for him? Ah, you store the food in your lunchbox. That's nice of you to share. Where the fuck else would I store it? <laughs> he can almost talk. You cannot speak with him? Like I fucking said, he can almost talk. He doesn't, he doesn't have a mouth, sort of. But how do you feed him? His feed hole. He has a Ew. mouth on the outside on his shell. Or the stuff that is his skin. He wishes that he could eat through his mouth. Uh. I'm a little confused. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Maybe you can go through a typical day with your grandpa. Okay. I asked her to explain how exactly she goes about growing her grandpa, and Adrian began another tale. According to Adrian, in the week that had passed, much had changed in the basement. Duh. I'm back! In the saddle again. <laughs> the hairy thing that was here before is gone. Oh, oh, briefcase. Your lunchbox is currently empty. Seek out food for Grandpa. Would you not seek out the food for Grandpa? Seek it out. Whoops. Okay, so, well, maybe the door? Maybe the enter? Yeah. Where's Grandpa? Wait, Grandpa! Oh, dear. It was scary at first, she said. The way he moved, the way the doll skin covered him. Mm. <laughs> I wanted to interject. Sorry. <laughs> I was taking a sip of my limoncello naturally essence to LaCroix. Ooh, delicious. Speaking of pretentious, I wanted to interject. This somehow seemed inappropriate, but I kept listening. When I look at him, she continued, when I think about him, he grows and moves. It's like he is growing for me. So he's growing bigger now, I asked. Yes, she said, bigger every day. What a good boy. Yo! <laughs> Ew. Oh, cool. Hi, Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> this begins the actual growing part of growing your grandpa. Beneath the doll's burlap skin, the follicles knit together what resembles a proper person. Your grandpa! Aw. Sweet. You are in charge of <laughs> handing him his... Butterworth Scott, <laughs> uh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, you were in charge of its cognitive development. Were there originals? Yes, were there originals? Thank you. <laughs> and diet until it is able to sustain itself. You mean himself? Uh, currently, you are observing Grandpa. Please click the arrow back back button below for a brief tutorial of your duties as a caretaker. Okay. Go to Grandpa. Here we can see a variety of options regarding growing your grandpa. What the fuck is this game? Highlighted in red are objectives related to feeding and teaching Grandpa. Important messages regarding Grandpa's recent activity will also appear here. <gasps> he said Baba. <laughs> oh my god. You will need to find it food and learning material before you can move on to the next week. Okay. Some foods will make Grandpa happy. Others may- Oh, it's one of these, huh? What? First fucking- Helena, and now Grandpa. Oh, yeah. I gotta find gifts for Grandpa that he's gonna like? Oh, I'm terrible I at this shit. I bought you a garbage parasol. Some, <laughs> some food will make Grandpa disgusted to the point of nausea. This Learning is making me disgusted to the point of nausea. Learning material is also scattered. Learning material 
is also scattered throughout the basement. Seek out vocabulary cards intended to help teach English and basic anthropoidic concept information. Why don't I just say it to him? The options highlighted in red are related to navigating around Grandpa's enclosure. Go to Grandpa option will let you perform all actions related to, directly related to Grandpa. Feeding, teaching, observing, etc. Accessing the study corner will let you go over any documents you pick up as the weeks go by. It's a good idea to learn about the work of the people who last occupied this space. Oh, I'm sure. Accessing the kitchen corner will let you search for food and the- Why is this laid out like a fucking cooking simulator or something? Anthro- <laughs> anthropoidic means, um, resembling a human being in form. Uh, not quite. Mm, yeah. But Close. May maybe soon. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> yeah. Accessing the kitchen corner will let you search for food in the old refrigerator and prepare food for grandpa if need be. Ah, the kitchen corner. What a cute part of this game. <laughs> More buttons may or may not appear depending on your development of Grandpa, so watch out for them. Take care to explore the basement at your leisure. However, due to the entropic nature of clutter and trash, different weeks may allow you to find things you had not previously discovered. What does entropy mean? Breaking down? I have no idea. Oh, boy, I'm learning. I am learning a lot of vocabulary words from this game. Go to Grandpa. Oh, he's sitting. Attempt to communicate. No response. Teach Grandpa. I have no vocabulary words. Observe, Grandpa. You examine Grandpa, noting its movements, respiration, and general mood. Anytime Happy. your Grandpa is referred to as an it, yeah. it's probably not a good thing. Grandpa seems sort of sluggish and bored. You get the feeling it may be more content and readily cooperative once fed and taught a word or two. Feed Grandpa. Would you like to view the tutorial? Yes. Entropy can mean two things. One is a lack of order or predictability, gradual decline and disorder. That's the one I knew. And the other is a thermodynamic quality uh, quantity, representing the unavailability of a system's thermal energy for conversion. Okay. Uh, into mechanical work. Yeah, I guess I guess it means like the degree of disorder or randomness. <laughs> you have to hover the food above Grandpa's olfactory bulb. This is so his olfactory <laughs> bulb. Yeah, yeah. Ew. Uh, getting Grandpa to consume other things requires some culinary deception. This is so weird. When Grandpa is willing to be fed, whoops, Grandpa will then consume the food. Good luck. This is among the weirdest games we've ever played. Alright, I'm gonna find some food for Grandpa. Uh, let's look at the upper fridge. Look, we that got some tasty. stuff. That looks tasty. Whoops. Lettuce. Grandpa might like this. It looks edible. Cool. Lower fridge? <gasps> A natter. Grandpa might like this. And now a brown nanner. So that means I have these two things, so let's go back and feed Grandpa. And who wouldn't- What a horrifyingly mutated creature in a cage wouldn't appreciate- Oh, <laughs> God! If Grandpa is enticed by the smell, click on Grandpa's mouth to feed it. Okay. How about Clicking banana? Gran Grandpa's nostrils left of the mouth. Oh, right here? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, God. Grandpa Grandpa's seems indifferent. It will accept this meal. Ooh. Grandpa likes it. I think it would be sick. The meal appears to have been sufficient. Nice! You give him that lettuce anyway? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll give him the lettuce. He's a growing boy. <laughs> what do you think, Grandpa? This will sate its hunger, but ne that is a all. neutral reaction. Ew. The meal appears to have been sufficient. Cool. Good okay. job. <laughs> Num nums. Oh, God, why why are we playing this? Step away from the window set in the bars. Grandpa grunts in appreciation and locomotes towards its favorite corner. Hey. <laughs> My man. <laughs> Teach grandpa. Oh, I gotta find some vocabulary words. Alright, uh let's find some vocab, bruh. Bruh. The darkness of the shadowy corner unnerves you. Oh, is that the thing that unnerves me? Yeah. Did things just get weird? You cannot explore here without some form of light. Uh, Grandpa's the light of my life. It's like I'm living inside a tool video and I've got to pretend like everything's kosher. <laughs> boo 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 doo boo doo boo doo doo. Ooh! Hello! Cool. Teach Grandpa this word to read the notes of past educators. Excellent. I like that. 
I'm- look, I'm- I'm creating a nice relationship with my grandpa. What are you feeling right now? Do you, do you feel intrigued by this? I feel like exciting. I feel excited <laughs> that I'm going to talk to my grandpa. Okay. Corroded battery. This isn't food. Grandpa might eat it, however. Oh. Um. <laughs> cool. Guess we'll leave that up to fate. Ooh, a bulbous growth. Something appears to be growing from the wall. Oh, hello. Ah, a pulsating sack. The <laughs> slimy membrane that it's, is its skin seems to contain something. This might be opened with a blade. Oh, I don't have a blade. Fudge. Well, I guess next time I game grumps, I'll try to find a blade and oh, I'll, I'll God, teach Grandpa keep some words. Oh, keep playing this? All right. <sighs> don't you want to see how Grandpa grows? I don't know if I do. Well, next time I game grumps. Okay, bye. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs>